tell me about your dream? Yeah. What was your dream? Mario. Dream about Mario? Yeah. Wow. And Bowser. And Bowser. And Peaches, Peaches, Peaches. <laughs> I love chocolate in my life. Oh. You love chocolate in your life? It is 6.45, almost 7. We just woke up, we're gonna have coffee. I'm gonna hydrate on the couch too with my coffee. Two tablespoons of creamer, full day of eating, let's go. I'm grabbing one of Letty's bars. This is Z bar, it's primarily carbs. Before the gym, I got my water, gonna go to the gym and I'll see you after. Gym was mediocre on my part. I wasn't there mentally, but I showed up for myself and that's half the battle, right? But right now is the breakfast time. We are going to make a breakfast sandwich because that's really all I have time for today. You want a bite? Yum. If you are considering doing the nutrition portion of my new six week challenge that starts on January 8th, or you've just considered tracking macros at some point to either change your physique or get, you know, reach some kind of goal, this is what your day will look like. So most of you are familiar with tracking calories. I think most of us like kind of have that familiarity, but tracking macros is just that much more specific. So it's kind of like under the umbrella. So calories is like the big umbrella. And then underneath, if you want to be really specific, you're going to track protein, carbs, and fat. So that's why people, when people say like tracking macros, that's what you are tracking. Every day you have a goal of protein, a goal for carbs, and a goal for fat and not everybody's are the same. So my macros are gonna be different from yours. It's based on a lot of things. Everybody's macros are individualized and it, it, the factors that play into creating your macros are things like your history, what your current activity level is like, obviously your height, your weight, hormones play into it, your overall goals, whether that's fat loss or muscle gain or just maintaining your weight, that also plays into it. Any kind of medical diagnosis would play into it as well. So again, there's just a lot of things that play into what your macros would be. My macros for today are 130 grams of protein, 200 grams of carbs, and then 60 grams of fat, which equals 1,860 calories. So it's just a slight deficit. I use my fitness pal to track all of my foods. So I've already done that today. I sat down five to 10 minutes this morning, programmed out my entire day. Winging it, like just, you know, eating what you want and then tracking as you go is not something I would recommend, especially if you're new to tracking macros. You'll probably end up at the end of the day, like overeating or under eating a certain macro and then having to like fill that hole of let's say 70 grams of protein and you're just eating egg whites and tuna not fun so what i highly recommend is just sitting down either the night before or the morning of and programming out your entire day start by putting in proteins to snacks and meals then by then put in carbs to all of those snacks and meals and then go back and do fats if you have to add anything in play that game of tetris subtracting and adding things amounts of things so that you can reach your numbers for the day even if your plan like falls apart at least you have some kind of guide for your day i am going to finish up my sandwich do a little bit of work and then letty and i are going to go out and about i don't know what's going to happen to my plan for the day but we'll just kind of walk you through that as we go because we can be flexible with macros fun jumping you got a little icy okay so letty really wanted a blue icy but i accidentally got her blue and red 
so she was crying and me being the the spoiler I am I was like all right I'll just get you a blue one so she's drinking her blue one I'm drinking a little bit of her other slurpee so I guess that's what I love about macros is you can totally estimate um, so I'm gonna estimate like 20 grams of carbs just to be safe for the icy because it's really just carbs um, but you could totally like look it up in my fitness pal and estimate how much you ate just to be on the safe side of things my friend Caroline wants to go into this gypsy crepes place so I don't know what I'm gonna get get that it's gonna fit my macros but that's another benefit to tracking is like I can just get what I want and try to estimate it and see if it fits um, or just like share something with Letty and eat something when I get home we'll see home now after gypsy crepes which was so good I chose to get a crepe with turkey and salami and provolone and some pesto in there so it was totally different from what I had originally programmed in for my lunch on my fitness pal but I went back in and I just erased and deleted all my lunch and then estimated so like how I do that is I just estimate the ounces of turkey the ounces of salami basil pesto sauce in there a little bit of tomato and spinach and then the crepe wrap itself so I just had to estimate I'm not sure of exact you know numbers but my fitness pal has a lot of options so I feel like the estimations are probably pretty accurate and then I kind of went through the rest of my day for dinner and snacks and stuff and just Situ resituated things so that I can better hit my numbers because I was like lower on protein than I thought and higher on fat and carbs were like pretty fine. Sometimes you just have to rearrange your day. But again, that's the nice part about tracking macros. You can be really flexible. Um, but I'm gonna do a little bit of work while Letty's sleeping. And then we'll just see where the day takes us. Probably see you at snack time. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Go look, go look at s'mores. It's a big s'mores. Oh my gosh. Did you make this? Yeah. Oh. Did you see it? What's it have in it? A uh, marshmallow and chocolate it's a big chocolate oh it was huge right it was as big as you i don't really know if i can get some marshmallow in there i have to cut myself a piece that's really good okay that normally that bite it was tiny i probably wouldn't track it I, that's what i wouldn't you know that's what i would do but you can do whatever you want. However, if I ate a it's bigger piece. Fi it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, right? <laughs> if I had a bigger piece, which I might later, I would track it and just estimate carbs. Daddy, I know. <laughs> a little bit fat. I need 20 grams of protein. I need protein today, okay? I haven't gotten a lot, so I'm gonna have a little snack to carry me over I to dinner time. Too. This is a builder's cliff bar, protein bar. Next time, Eastman asked a good question. Is protein like something that you should always just shoot for? But personally, I like to tell people like protein is not glorified. If you overshoot your protein, your body processes that much like energy, much like a carb. So you're just overeating on carbs. So we don't glorify protein. You need ever, every macronutrient. You need fats, you need carbs, you need proteins. Although I am shooting for protein in this snack and really every meal, it's really just to reach that macro goal at the end of the day. What are you doing? I'm in my sack. <laughs> You're supposed to put it in a cup. <laughs> I no forget what am I doing? Hi guys, welcome to my full day of eating. Getting dinner ready. <laughs> I was just gonna make it and then talk about it. Bye. Bye. It is Friday, so I wanted to keep it really easy. These are pizzas that Letty could eat too. So if you think that maybe tracking macros means that you can't have like food that your kids can eat, you're wrong. <laughs> Um, these are the ultra thin pizza crusts from Golden Home. They do have a protein version too, uh, but I didn't have any. Uh, the macros are just really good. One and a half fat, 31 carb, and five protein. So one other thing that you are going to need when tracking macros is a food scale. You guys saw me weighing this chicken out. One little hack, put 
your item on the scale, zero it out, and then like pull from it and get the negative number that you need. So like if I need two ounces, I'm gonna get negative two ounces off. Or if you're scooping peanut butter, scoop you know 28 grams out, if that makes sense, instead of scooping it on the scale. I will link my favorite food scale below. I'm making Brad his two pizzas, and one thing that makes this all really easy is just having like pre-seasoned, pre-prepped and cooked meat. So you can totally do that by yourself. Um, something on Sundays we like to do is just like make meat to have in the fridge to pull from. But if that's not something that you have time for or you want to like it to be a little bit more convenient, we have been using the Just Meats meats.com I will have a discount code for you I think by the first when this video is up um, that'll save you like 50% for 15 days and you can also win three months free of just meats if you are signed up for the challenge I'm just saying how's your pizza good now <laughs> is it so yummy it is so yummy no i gotta have some ranch with my light ranch and a soda that makes life better it feels like a friday mama, finally with mama, pizza mommy so it's not domino's it's not pizza mm. hut but it's pizza so that's one thing to kind of remember like especially if you're dieting using macros like if you want pizza you can have a pizza if you want hamburgers milkshakes you can have that just you have to be a little bit creative. Sometimes you can be flexible, not even track it and just go for the full thing like Domino's, but most of the time you're gonna be eating something like this where it's just a little bit healthier. My favorite part of the day is the nightcap. So sometimes what I do and what you guys could do too, if you're tracking, when you're tracking, um, is if you have like a favorite snack or meal or like you really want ice cream for dessert, then program in your ice cream first or your snacks or your treats, treats and um, then build the rest of your day around that to fit your macros. So I'm ending the day with a half a scoop of protein because I just need a little bit more protein. PE Science discount code Aubrey. Um, I use the vegan because it's gentler on my skin and my stomach. And then I'm having some carbs and fats to finish out, Doritos, and a little bit more carbs, candy. So this is like my favorite thing to do. This is what I look forward to. I'm still living my life while tracking. Highly recommend building your day around snacks. So here are my totals for today. I was pretty close to protein, pretty close to carbs and fats, and just know that you won't ever be precisely on your numbers. I mean, maybe in like some weird world, you might hit them one time, but for the most part, you can be between like two to four grams of fats and then like five to seven grams of carbs and protein, and that's either over or under. So that's the end of the video. If you have any questions about tracking macros or if you want me to do a future video, just leave it in the comments and subscribe if you haven't, you're worth it.